Talon draft much more until this Hoodwing pick. Why? What's wrong with Hoodwing? Uh, Too much I memes. I mean, yeah. it just feels a bit like they could have picked something and won the game much easier. The re-ranged physical cores in the TV Viper and Furion. Kind of a nice yeah. answer to the hero in, in a conceptual sense. Nice yeah, swag with a toss up, and that is going to be your first blood jab. Easy. One to nab it. Has been yeah, they really needed to pay off, but I don't think it's Body going blocks. to. Body blocking two jabs is trying well, so hard. The he We're actually get found, managed to block him in. No way. It worked like jabs. That. Jabs. The ultimate CEO. The spark. Oh, sprouted in. 23 is going to be able to get around that uh, attempt. Nice toss back in the mid lane. Nice. They're going to be able to toss back Carl, and he is going to be overwhelmed because there was a four hero rotation mid. Raven will try and defend mid. They're going to fight this? They're going to with a relocate. They have an opportunity here. Viper is not so easy to be able to bring down, but he's uh, eventually going to fall. They managed to get him with the Hoodwing shot. Nice pushback there from AU. That'll help uh, the reset there as Nature's Prophet gets out. Stolen Hoodwink ultimate from Tins gives him a little bumper away, but another Bushwhack is going to be able to land. Collecting on the Rubik. Tins is going to be caught by 23 Savage and 23. Picking up two different kills, immediately keeping the mid lane to push back Raven. Yeah, Raven killed Ollie in that window. Still, Blacklist, you know, they're pretty even in this game. They're up a little bit. I feel like the point of their lineup is just to go ultra late here. They don't have to make too many aggressive moves. The tier one tower bottom was the only necessary Ooh, tower. Jabs. <laughs> that was a missed bushwhack, but it doesn't matter. Looks like Talon wanted to defend this mid a Raven meta push. Makoto is just going to get initiation. Makoto, yeah, just tries to run in. He's going to be slowed down by the Viper. He's, He's really dead. relying on that Bloodstone, and he should not have been. There was no hero close enough to even get Bloodstone heals off of. You've got this disarm on a Slark, which it's an AoE disarm, too, so you can catch him like while he's shadow dancing after he dark backs. Not to mention double corrosive versus the Slark in, in the melee range is not too shabby. Shot to finish him off. Bosku falls. Does it still work like that, or did they change it? No, I'm fairly certain it still works like that. I mean, what else? Well, how about they change it? We're gonna try it. Oh, yeah, he took a yeah, he took a small chunk of damage there. <laughs> oh, he's yeah, gonna be careful, Tim. Nice force tap down to low ground. Makoto Ooh. with the BKB. Oh, that shot from Jabs! What a sniper! Twenty three going in on Bosku. Actually has the shard to help protect himself, but he needs to get out. Now. He's running out of. Yeah, he didn't have his ultimate. He didn't have pounce charges there for a bit. As long as they position properly, this might end up being pretty decent. And look Ooh, at the damage. Just half of his health gone from one dart pack on Carl. He's aware of it now. <laughs> yeah, he definitely knows. And that is, again, that's with the Mage Slayer magic resistance. Nice bushwhack. Try and throw the E blade. The a lot of burst damage onto Raven, but there is a bit of heals going out. Not quite enough to be able to finish him off. A shot, the stolen, stolen shot from Tim's. Finishes off the Slark. A massive win, and Raven will finish up the Roshan, and they get jabs on the back line. He's still pretty goddamn strong. He's gonna find Q here. Q. Nice play by Boss. Who had the uh, ward to be able to see the tiny running down lane. And he's trying to steal the last hit with that stolen sharpshooter. He's, I think Q has to hit really good tossbacks here. He, got yeah, he can soon. toss him over to Jabs, too. Oh, that's there a good is. one. It's the toss back. A beautiful broken. setup onto the Viper, and he's broken as well. Q was not able to get out, though. The force and Carl is... is, thanks to the Force Staff, 23. He's going to have to use his ultimate here with his BKB and jump away. So now they are out of a lot of tools. Clark can't really go back into that fight very easily. And they don't have all of them. I mean, they tossed Carl in, and Carl just killed them both. Blacklist taking down Talon. This is a monster win for these guys because they, they were supposed to be going to the Lima Major right alongside Talon until they choked in the very last uh, couple series there of the uh, of last season. So being able to bounce back this season and being able to take the number one team in Southeast Asia, which Blacklist was supposed to be a lineup that was supposed to rival for that number one slot. He definitely choked it, but they're not choking this one. The only thing they're choking is the map. Because 23 they're choking. No they're choking 23 Savage out right now. Trying to force Daft get in front of him, and they got him. I think. Wait, one more shot. There you go. There we go. That's we two, got baby. him in the end. 
I mean, there's Ags on Makoto. You have some nihilism. Okay. That's an interesting option, but can they even get close? Kodo, he's in with the nihilism. The Viper. Some damage. Oh, that's nice force zap. Gets him away from the shot. And Mount Makoto is stuck inside that sprout, and he's just dead. They glimmer cape him. They give him the shard over from the Slark, and that might actually help him survive, but it doesn't help the building stay alive. Yeah, a very small, faint glimmer, that's for sure. Oh, point three just can't go in these fights. It's just too weak. All right, Makoto back in again. Attempted with the Nihilism. They're going to go for the relocate. Oh, with the push. With the retether back in. He's good. Slark is in. They're going for Tim's Thanks right now. Sprout. Tim's, who stole the Nihilism, is actually unable to be hit right now. 23. Now with the Nihilism gone, still trying to work on Tim's. Has to pounce away with the BKB and take the out. He will barely make it. But again, they are surviving, but their buildings are not. Oh, Bushwhack and Dane, another four staff trying to track down this Carl Vance. They can't quite finish him off. The Gleipnir is going to be able to hold back both Makoto and Ollie. They win this fight. They probably just win the game outright. So let's see what Talon can do here. Nullifier Both finish. Just tossed in. Tether is going to be broken immediately. He goes for the nihilism. To Viper nullified. Viper he gets forced tapped all around. Makoto going to be slowed down by the Viper strike. He has his BKB still going on. The Sprout is going to be able to hold him in place. And the Meteor Hammer not quite there in time. See? The relocate. Relocate. He hits him just in time. Again, Talon doing very good job of being able to play the team fight, but it does. Oh, that's a good God. toss. Raven nullified for a second there. He's going to be slowed down. All up there from the split earth is there, but they have a force staff to be able to get Raven to the low ground. Blacklist are able to reset again. Going to keep pushing it, just like they did in the bottom lane. They took that lane of barracks. Now they're going to do it in the Roshan pit. Bushwhack holding Carl, but he's so tanky. He's got the Bloodstone ready to go, too. Oh, they have a D on 23. They're going to need a dream jump in here to be able to stop this denialism. Yeah, fight for John. It is contestable here. Makoto's going to be able to get the he got he got it. Died. Oh, he got it just before he died. What the? How did he get In the that? last half second, there's no way 23 is able to jump out the second life of Makoto. Okay, it doesn't even matter if he gets the Aegis. He gets demolished by Raven. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, that was kind of hype, but in the end, it might have been like the same frame or something. So they didn't know what to do, so it just gave it to him. I <laughs> goes to the runner, I guess, but honestly, I don't think it makes any difference. And yeah, that's just no. They just got outscaled here. I think I like my water boy. Okay. Water boy. Water boy last pick. He got Lincoln's. Yeah, I mean he should. So again, I think it's a pretty good, pretty good Lincoln's Lincoln's game here. I mean, let alone Bloodseeker, obviously with thirst. So something uh, I have to keep an eye on. I just get gone. He's dead, I think. Yeah, silence with the curse. That's another combo as well. Ags refresher BKB. Then probably earlier Midas is better if you if you have two other carries and you're just playing to support them. The earlier auras are better. I don't think builds are ever correct or incorrect. It's just about what you're using them for. And I think identifying those in the right game is what's most important. Oh, is Makoto dead? Avalanche covers them a little bit, but yeah, the fate bolt zaps him down. Talon is way too aggressive. Makoto, I mean, maybe he tilted. <laughs> maybe he went a little bit more than 360. I think this game we're looking at Doom items. I feel like going Midas early is fine here. I do think Arcane Boots on this hero That's ends up kind of now. paying for itself a lot of times, but if he's having a really good lane like this, yeah, why not greet it up? Nice toss back. Oh, missed the split earth. That's going to be awkward because they're going to have to chase in for this kill if they want it. And that like yeah. Makoto really open to Carl. He's going to be able to use the lasso to be able to stop Q. So we get the double kill on that one. And now a quick gank with this haste. I think Jab's just maybe, well, Q can sacrifice himself. <laughs> he tosses up away from him. He's like, no, please get away from me. But ultimately, Q is still going to die. The haste rune put to use to... 23 has not been touched. He's going Lincoln's first on Morph. Morph Link. He's going to be big. Another skirmish fight where Silencer's just destroying him. They just keep on running into this curse, and it, as you said, just keeps on destroying them. Makoto is maybe going to be able to. Oh, Carl's just barely able to get away. Jab, go. Oh, actually, the ghost got him. I cannot believe that reached far enough. Because remember, Iolesh does a lot about the tempo, a lot about the runes, towers. They're getting none of it. And Q is dead again here? You know? Yeah, More he just injured. suicides in to be able to get the toss back on him, but it doesn't even work. And Carl's back in a play with the boots of travel. And with a blood right here, Jabs' feet, he, fate is sealed. 
Blacklist rivalry, bringing multiple heroes. They're not letting Jabs getting any momentum out of this exorcism. Ooh, a catch for Bosco. That's a nice one. 23 falls. But this is a big pivot right here in this mid play. This is a very important next fight for 60 minute rune for Roshan. There's that blink reveal. Global gonna I stop the with the last track pulled back in with a global silence and the IO falling in. I'm only trying to help Makoto. It's just getting worse and worse. Carl tipping Makoto like this. You know, like uh, Carl has just cleanly answered Makoto both game one and two. Nice two man avalanche though. 23 shows up and what? quickly eliminates one. Raven falls. Bosco's going to be pushed back. Turns around, threatens the Radiant's Doom, then thinks better of it. And you don't have the Lincoln's break on Carl yet. He's going four staff now. Probably to help deal that, but otherwise it's just Tim's breaking it and Tim's is probably dead. I tried to use uh, Tether to get out, but unfortunately it was too close. You have to still lasso him, I think, for him to feel really good. Oh, the haste oh, rune grabs the haste rune away from Carl, and Carl might just die. The flame brick is going to be able to separate the two, and it looks like Jab's going to be the one to die as the BK goes out. No! He got denied by 23. Oh, what a play! He's now going to jump forward and finish off Raven. Raven's going to die. Ollie's going to make sure that uh, both of them are going to die, actually. As Tim's going to get hit by the avalanche as well. What a sick move from 23 Savage. It's a young man. going to try and jump him right now. Okay, he got jumped the out. Sun, they managed to get him with the lasso, <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> Lincoln's on points yeah, here. Like, what like the bad? Sure you, just, you just need some damage, right? This is a good lasso. Oh, nice grab. That's a really good one. If they can kill him fast enough, they have to use the Doom on him because Ollie's going to be able to save him Global Silence. That's right. They've got the counter to it. They've got the Rupture on a Dolly too, so they're going to commit for that kill. Two down already, but they're going to reset. They're going to try and get away. Raven is slowed down by oh, 23, turning lift. it into the Rubik and getting the Telekinesis on the opposing Rubik. Nicely little play there. AU. Oh, oh. Poor Staff. Okay, it's on the other side, but a waveform will allow 23 to catch up once again. 23 proving to be the anchor point. And it is the grand this watery race. boy. <laughs> Another good catch. That's gem. Oh, losing their gem would be massive, Carl. He falls, gem on the ground. Nobody from Talon to pick it up. The courier is gonna be there, but 23 is just gonna keep it going here. Yeah, straight to the gem. tier threes. I'm gonna take your base. Another toss back threat. Get some voice this time. BKB. They're going to turn around and try and keep finish off Q with the BKB, but the heals are too much. Ollie, thanks to the Guardian Greaves, actually, from Jabs, they keep you alive. He's going to TP backwards here. 23 is just going to sit here and dare you to go on him. And if you're not going to stop him now, then he's just going to keep going. The Batrider's up in 10 seconds. That's what we're waiting on now. You're going to have to displace 23 deep into your base here. Early EXO, just trying to force it. There's double damage at work. Putting the pressure on Blacklist. Need to react soon. They've used the Doom. They go straight in, in for the Morphling, trying to deal with him. Now they go back to Jax. Well, All going to be able to help out 23, so they do manage to finish off one. Oh, look at this Morphling go. Run for your life. I mean, one downside of Dooming yourself, you're not applying Doom for that basic dispel. Problem is you're you're losing lasso, you're losing BKB. Talon are confident the man up oh, there's the hex. They got the scythe on the doom, just what you were talking about, but there is gonna be the four staff to separate him. So that means that BKB is now done on Makoto and they've used exorcism. You can kite these ghosts, you can also read go for it. They use the AoE Doom, locking down Jab, but look at Bosco taking so much damage. It's only because of Glimmer Cave. And he stopped. He got the last one. to get the last one. Pull back on the last strike. This is perfect for them. They hit a hoof stomp. They finish him off. And Raven just heals up a ton off of that one. But Bosco stuck in a corner and is going to be finished off. 23. Wastes no time putting him in the ground. He's trying his best in these fights. And honestly, that fight was pretty damn well played by him. Got, they got two cores for one. And they still lost the fight, in a sense. Yeah. That's they, how hard uh, this game is. They get three items over to. The Morphling consumes the Aghanim Scepter as Aegis and Cheese. The rest of the team does not, though. That They're just going to try and kite around 23 and go for the back line. It's, and they're pretty much going to have to jump him. They're not going to smoke out. Go to the... Oh, 
They actually do manage to get him with the lasso there, but the avalanche stops a lot of the damage, and 23 is actually managing to fight back a little bit. No BKB have ashes, so Raven is just getting Damn. high like that. That was pathetic. Yeah, Oof. that was not the guy to go on. Rupture on Makoto. Hey, we do come with the buybacks. This is an opportunity. Oh no, the Dooms. <laughs> dead. Finish up this Morphling now. Otherwise, Bosco is just going to die to it. Bosco on a sliver of health. He's saying a lot of health. Oh, he's not God. dead. He's four staff away. 23 finally finished him off with the help of Makoto. Who blinks in. Raven, he needs as many bashes as possible. Get all the bashes in the world to be able to stop this monster of a 23 Savage. How the hell is Bosco alive right now? I don't know. I thought he died. I think he thought he died, but he's not. <laughs> I mean, either way, he doesn't have Doom, so what good is he? He should have died. <laughs> Blacklist desperately trying to hold on to their base here. They're going to have to do a three versus five. As the rest of Talon who have bought back are going to rejoin with their forces. Bosku getting a small initiation, just poking at the Morphling. Seeing what's what, they still need another 20 seconds for Doom. So Talon could just close out the game before that, but we managed to get another lasso back on in. Ollie in the back lines holding up that tether, but they just do not have the damage to deal with 23 Savage. It's not even close. They're trying to break that tether. They're trying now to go for Ollie. They do have the flood right over what the side. They will manage to get it tossed back over this time. They have the split earth. Raven with his BKB. The building what is can he do with it? Absolutely nothing. Oh, look at that jump in. Look at 23. 23, you are insane. Uh, Goes into the fountain and he doesn't even die. Finishes off the enemy carry. All he's got to hold him back. He says, 23, chill out, buddy. Hit the ancient, finish off the game, and let's go to a game three. So this Alco doing is a really strong list. So much yeah, damage. So much, yeah. yeah, a lot of minus armor. Like, like I said, this lane is not that weak versus the IO. There does seem to be a, a weird blurring of the lines uh, as time goes on between the safe lane and off lane carry. Nice toss back with so many Eidolons. Raven is getting pummeled with the body blocking in from Q as well. Raven's not getting away from this one. He's going to be stuck here and the Eidolon should be enough to finish him off or Q will snag the last hit. Either way, it's a first blood. I mean, you're supposed to be the bulwark up here that shuts down the Enigma with early Eidolon killing instead of feeding the kill away. Not only the kill, oh. you're feeding first blood. What are these grits? They're out of control. Bosco is dead. He, he's not helping their cause. Oh, dive in mid. Flame break pumps him back. And Carl's going to retreat with the TP coming in. But he gets hit by the stun on his way out. The, the tower aggro. going to ensure that he dies. This lane is an absolute train wreck at this point. The Koka is a level behind Enigma. Not killing Eidolons. Oh, and Carl's going to die dead too. again. Makoto is just picking up speed as the series goes on. I mean, he started off playing up against that Viper. That was terrible for him. But now he's just dumpstering Carl in the 1v1. The, the hut. Two seconds stun, Tim's. Oh, nice cut there. And 23. He's really pumping on all cylinders. He's just going to be able to bring down Bosku again, man. Really great reactions by him with this quelling play. Uh, Makoto needs a little help here. Q is going to try and help him with an avalanche. Boss straight up in the air on the Bat Rider, and only so much you could do here. The flame break into the lasso is going to ensure the death of Makoto, but Carl may still fall. The Malefist in one swing of Q's heavy fist will bring him down. Just got five. That's a crazy level differential. That's not even the X. Missed the avalanche or missed the uh, torrent, but it doesn't matter too much. Makoto is going to be here, though. He's silenced, but he still has his ultimate going, so he's going to be able to bring down Raven. Let's see if they can get a little bit more thinking about it. Bushwhack is going to be able to catch the IO, so Blacklist turn around, but the two-man black hole ends. Two-man stun followed up from Makoto, too. Cleaning house now. Blacklist on the run. Carl is able to stay alive ever so barely. Yeah, stack is nice, and they need the stacks here because it is an alcohol. Okay. Okay, Ollie. Uh, Q needed some help and canceled, I think, his tether target, thinking it was a little bit too dangerous. Meanwhile, top lane looks like the Enigma is going to die. I'm just saying it. The second you would expect an SEA offlaner not to do something is usually when they do it. Hmm. Bosco is going to Do you expect Bosco to be dying again? No. 
I don't think he expected to go for the kill on the Enigma. The global silence goes out, and they needed it too, because he maybe could have gotten off a uh, black hole there. Raven is probably going to be dying here. They're going to toss the Leshrac on top of Raven. Raven trying to juke out the stuns, but there is going to be no stun use. Makoto doesn't need it. No, they're going to try and, and stop it. And they're going to stop it by hitting him with the stun. No old for seven. And throwing a bunch of spells at him. Global Silence, a TP out that's not going to make it. Once again, the Volestrank is not stopped by the Global Silence. 20 yeah. It just gets worse and worse for him. This feels and, bad. Yeah, and who's creating this space? Oh, what a jump in from Q. Three man avalanche with the toss combo. Oh, the bad rider just oh, gets it gone. 23 blows him up with the blink dagger pickup that he has. Philly Stone going to get dropped for both sides. More gold. Ew. Oh, he gets caught trying to combo a creep wave and blinking out. They're going to be able to pull him back into the X and chain him down pretty nicely. So a good pick there for Blacklist. Something small to work with. What's a bad pick for Blacklist anyways? They're Alchemist dying again. He is just not a hero this game. And maybe Carl too. His jabs, he could black hole him. He could do it. If I really wanted to, I could do it. Yeah, just let you know I, I have that power. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is looking like the potentially the most one-sided game of the night because I don't think Talon's going to slow down. I think they're just going to, yeah, 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 keep it going. Yep, yep, Triple yep, kill yep, for 23. You cannot overextend in a blink black hole here, and you cannot overextend on this Makoto Lush who has BKB of his own. Moscow. He gets tossed up in the air real quick. BKB does go down. 23 pops his Phantasm, is looking for an opening in, while Raven does manage to finish on the back. Here. There it is, 23. He gets his opening, manage to finish off the Hoodwink nice and quick. Pops his own BKB, but he's got to play it slow. Two man splitter. Two man stun from Makoto. He's in right now. Gets relocated out. out. Okay. A little bit of reset there. 23 still being chased after. He doesn't have a BKB, can. so he's probably going to be dying here, and they're going to be able to pull around the last rack a little bit. A lot of AoE damage, though. Everybody's getting low versus Bosco on the side. The Alchemist is going to fall to the Enigma. Meanwhile, the last rank was not able to track down either one of the other cores. So get the hell out of here, man. You're a five. Bosco. Tossed up, Split Earth, it's going to be able to land. The chain stun completes, and Bosku dies without a BKB. Oh, Carl. That's a bold move, son. Yeah, it is, but he got off the BKB. He did not get the follow-up stun in time, and Carl is able to get away. They got a boat. I don't know, Makoto. Makoto's going to take a decent amount of damage, but he still has the Aegis, so he doesn't really care. He's going to keep chasing down after heroes because he wants to die almost. They're going to be able to hit the avalanche right as the BKB expires and pull in Bosku. Pull him away from that tier three, drag him out. You might catch somebody. It only takes one catch to just be lame. Oh, he tried. Self fuels, but he's going to be caught by the X. I think he may just be dead. Oh, he's going to try and bail him out. They tried to toss him over the side. What happened to the last track? How did he's he getting get pulled in deep? I, there was some sort of weird toss scenario there. They're going to poke at him from a distance here. See if they could burn out that Aegis. 23 is a little bit low, so he's keeping his distance. Are they just going to leave him? Oh, they're going to try to save him. Uh, they're going to relocate him out. Blacklist. Oh, this would be big. Oh, this would be so big to bushwhack. See if they can keep the chain stuns going here and they can burst him down. The stuns, oh, the lasso pull him back a little bit farther and they've got him. A massive kill and he doesn't have buyback either. Makoto fighting for his life here right next to Raven. Who's BKB got is going to wear out eventually. Makoto's going to chase him down and the BKB lasts long enough. Punk that dies. Makoto links in for more. Spots AU. He just needs to be able to get range of the lightning. Stun will land afterwards. Bushwhack goes in though. I'll allow the supports to be able to get away. Here it comes. Q. It's 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 easy opening on the bat rider. Nice toss back with the scythe of ice, and they just burst down Carl. Very nice initiation, and he does not have buyback. Maybe it goes back to you know everybody wants to be the carry. No, nobody wanted to be the guy who tanks the the death and uses their buyback for a good team fight. Are you willing to do that? Bosku, he's gonna need one hell of an abyssal blade. 
Okay, he's Alchemist dead. just TP's right in front of them and does manage to get off his BKB ever so badly. But now the silencer is dead. Jabs has an opportunity here. They do have a buyback on the silencer though. They're, They're gonna black hole. Refresh. Buys back immediately, goes bulls, but he has the refresher at the same time. Or actually did he? He wants Kunkka. He used it. Wait, he wasted the other black hole. Yeah, he wasted the second black hole. I mean, it doesn't seem to matter, though. 23 Savage just destroying Blacklist right now. Raven did manage to get back, though. See if he can get some lucky crit hits in here. That's their only opportunity. A four staff away, Tim's. Oh, you're bringing him into the squirrel. You're bringing him yeah, into the problem as well. Out. And that means last rank life number one is now. I mean, 23 is just hitting the racks. I don't think he cares. Relocate out. Oh, no, we missed it. Oh, he bought a ghost scepter. Bought a ghost scepter. Staying alive a little bit longer. He's keeping him busy at least. 23 is like, where's my mid, guys? I'm hitting buildings. I don't see him. <laughs> nice toss back on a Raven. See if they can burst him down. 23 is doing a lot of damage. If he starts backing up, all he's going to help him out. Eat the cheese. That's a big buff. Raven is going to fall. The tree thrown by Q. Finish him off. He's, he's going to buy back now. Really? The range barracks just needs a couple hits, and 23 Savage takes the time to finish him off. I think he knows this fight, they cannot win. Too many buybacks, but he can at least force the Megas, and Blacklist will have to defend against that from here on out. I mean, you take that if you're Talon. Maybe not the way you wanted it to go, but you do get your objective in the end, which is a whole set of racks here. Either way, I like the Ghost up to purchase. That was pretty heads up, but we are back, and there's a smoke action. There's the Divine the Render end. here. There is They're the going on Q. Raven, where's the hit? Okay, he gets it hit on 23. It did not do any damage at all. He's dead. Oh my god. It did nothing. It did like less than 10% of his health. I mean, I'm assuming okay. that's just the game. That, I mean, yeah, 100%. There's no point in talking yeah, about hey, the you picked it up. It's like, I got it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, AU. Hey, oh, my God. What?